Hi, it's Steve again. I'm in Slough this morning. Just been called out to this bus. Unfortunately, it's been parked in a bus stop by looks of things, and somebody else has run out the back of it. You say there's quite substantial damage to the rear, um, but you say the axles and the wheels and that are okay, and it's facing the way we want to go. So uh, we're going to pick it up from the front. So I'm just checking the damage round at the back. So obviously the bus company have been out there and put some granules down uh, for the leakage. It's been leaking out some fluid. What you say we're going to take the half shaft out this side here and. Um, front lift it back to the bus depot yes, so I've parked behind you at the moment to give myself a bit of cover while I remove the back uh, bumper you say that, that I'm going to remove that rather than try and strap it up and uh, yeah then then come around the front and then get it loaded and take it back to the bus depot right let's get some gloves on right okay I've got lax saw as well so if we can just cut that boot off, get that out of the way. Can't do nothing with that. That's, that's written off. Oh, that's quite as easy as I thought. Come straight off. Right, let's cut the connections here. Get this one off. There we go, I'll put that in the bus. Yeah, once I'm loaded, obviously I'm gonna have to give this a bit of a clean up with a broom and shovel can't leave this on the road like this so it's our responsibility to clean up we can't leave this any of the loose stuff clipped at the back don't want it falling off the road there we go that looks okay all right pop this in the bus all right come off easy and get me trailer ball on the back while I'm behind it. Give us a bit of cover. All right, pop this in the bus. Get out of the way, like nobody tripping over that on the pavement. There we go, that's good. It's not, ain't got an air problem then. Not on that side anyway. All right, let's put that on the bus. I'll get that tidy up once we're finished. Right, I didn't even need to saw it. Right, okay. Right, so let's get the trailer board on it. Then I'll come around the front and uh, we'll front lift it from there. Get these synchronised. Us a bit more cover, a bit more lights on the back, don't it? See if these will go in the hole. Oh no. no, I've got one that's slightly bent out, designed for the holes. Here we are. There we go. Rub it around here a little bit. There we go. It on there right it's, it's giving us a bit of cover right okay let's come around the front now it's quite visible traffic's a bit quieter now the rush hour has gone so I won't put any cones out there's not much traffic right okay let's come around the front and, and get it loaded I'm gonna drop the boom down and uh, take the front um, bonnet off that'll expose the air connector that will be behind there just dropping this down it's the boot off should be an air point uh, there we go yeah there we are that's turned sometimes if they if the caps are missing they do tend to seize up a little bit but this one's fine Okay, right, put that back in the bus. There we go. All right, 
I dropped the boom down a little bit and down a reverse underneath it. I won't have enough with the reach to do that. Afraid that noise is the horrible buzzer again. I'll probably turn that might be able to just disconnect that quick for you. That's gonna be a bit of a that's better. I know a few of you wonder what the noise was. Yeah, that saves me from forgetting my remote. Okay, right, hopefully the camera should come on board now. There we go, as you say, you can't really see too much with the sunlight, because that is an angle, and my feet actually put a shadow over it, so, so it's not great, actually. You can't see too much. We know we're in the, the middle of the bus. Let's just check the back. There we go, I wonder if we're far off with that. Okay, PTO on. Right, let's get loaded. Loved. Right, so we are. Yeah, could see nothing actually. Just say where it, where that, where the camera is. All the shade and the sun comes across it, and it makes it very dark. But hopefully, we should get enough um, reach. We'll have a look. If need, we we'll have to come back. Not the end of the world. All right, let's have a look. See what we're going to pick up. We've got two chassis rails running down the middle of the bus. I've got my pedestals in, so I'll be picking up on the crosshead. Hopefully get nice to, oh, there we go, say that. There we go. There we go, get nice. Right, pre-lift the game with these. There we go, it's found its way. Okay, just double check the handbrakes on, yeah. Okay. Right, I'm lifting it now. There we go. So they are pretty low, these buses. They don't get too much clearance. There we go. Okay, let's get the stands out. Run over with a scooter. Okay. okay. Go around. There we go. Yeah, I'd rather pull up short than uh, come into the bus. Let's have a look. See how far we what we got. Might just do it actually. Might just do it. Right, let's get some uh, lifting forks out. Yeah, basically we're picking up on the chassis rail and we're back chaining to the axle. This is the way we normally pick them up on here. <laughs> Out a little bit, so we're going up on there. The end's well clear, the boom. Don't get any fingers caught. I just have to guess that for now. Roughly line, hopefully, that should be too far up. Oh, I actually I've got me wrong forks here. Actually, you saying that? So, we said the other day, do you remember what forks are put on? He's a little bit tight for this, actually. Yep, so I've got the wrong forks out. Here we go. No problem. Get that changed. The forks don't fear. You're not going to have a stable load. Right, this is a bit slightly wider, these ones. They look very similar. Perhaps I should put a bit of white paint on them. So, no. Right. Okay, we're doing the same the other side. Sliding it out a little bit. Hands clear. Oh. Rope's gonna work. There we go. Yeah, the reason why I use this, well, could you get by with a smaller one of these forks on this side? But this is a little bit wider. Why it's manufactured. Yeah, so we're sliding it up. Going 
Canada. Watching them pipes. Out of the way. There we go, it just gets a bit out snugly up into there. There we are. Show you the back of it. Just gonna move that forward, there's a slight lip there, that's it. Slight lip along here. Just gonna go back to it. There we go, just says right up in the, the hole a bit as well there. Make sure this is okay, it's gone back. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, I'm basically just gonna chain back from the axle to the jug handles. This is the way we tend to load these. Some other people might have a different method to it. They say it's up to them. No problem at all. If it works for you, and it stays on, it's safe. But this is the way we tend to do these 200 buses. Right, I've got my stands under, as always. It's just simple to say, round the top of the axle. This one there. When you lower the boom, it does tighten up the chains a bit, but you say they're not gonna be uh, sort of bar tight at all. Just gonna be nipped up, so that'll tighten itself up a bit. Let's get another one on here, maybe. That's it, we've got a bit of play there. I'll do the same the other side. When it drops down, it will tighten a little bit. And now, and the tightness will keep it from sliding and also from coming out the forks. Right. And go around the axle. Down from the top. There we go, got a bit of play in here. Oh, a bit wet, getting wet in my head then. Right, let's get out before we put that stand out the way. Yeah, I'll just say, I would just like to say actually, these uh, videos are sort of day in the life videos. They're not sort of training videos. And uh, so you shouldn't be viewed like that. I'm just hopefully giving you an idea what it's like uh, for heavy recovery, really. I've been asked quite a lot by a lot of people. Um, what, what the job's all about. So I thought I'd take my camera out and uh, hopefully show you. I'll put an airline in now. Let that build up. Then I'll do the hard shaft. Right. This is the airline. This will supply it by the brakes and the suspension from this front air coupling. So I'll take my stands up, we're not getting underneath the bus, it's just purely at the front, so it's nice and easy. Located, that went well. Sometimes there's seas. There we go. Let's get some air in it while we're, in case it is a little bit low, that can build up while we're doing other jobs. Right, okay. Right, pop that into there. Get some blue gloves on because they tend to fill them right up with uh, axle oil these. So there'll be a fair bit of uh, oil that comes out on these buses. I think I've had these, uh, oh what are they, I think 16, uh, I think 16 mil I think. These are, uh, you know, 16 mil. I'm sure they are these. I haven't done one for a while. But yeah, I'm sure about 15, 16. If it's the old type. Right, let's get some rags in there. Okay. Right, okay. Right, here we go. God, I think I'm gonna cover that hole a little bit as well. Man oh. Drain hole, I should say. Man oh. There we go. Now it's gonna leak out a little bit, but hopefully should be able to contain it. All right, I'll be that, man.
shouldn't have done that bolt at all last actually because I could get it under there. Yep. There you go. It's got a bit more of a lip on this, so we can get it out and here we are, look, plenty of oil in here. God. Get that bit. Absolutely full up of oil, as I said. Give it a wipe when we go. God, you know, clean oil as well. Lovely. Hello. Hello. Steve? Yeah, hello, yeah. Alright, I've seen the videos on Oh, well, yeah, okay. Nice oh, cheers, all the best, thank you. That's no ah, nice, man. Getting well known. Celebrity status. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Honestly, I didn't pay him. He looks like he's just pulled up in a car. What nice man. Right. So, so somebody's watching him anyway. Right, okay. Yeah, that's the off shaft the way. Let's get a bit more blue roll actually. Tidy this up. Away. Let me see him move it up a little bit and give the road a bit of a clean. I'll tell you, pretty much uh, ready to roll actually. Right, let's take the handbrake off. Hands off. Handbrake. There we go. If I bring her up a little bit, so I'll forget me uh, broom and shovel out in a bit. That's my next port of call. Hopefully, by bringing it right in, I can actually uh, get right behind the bus and clear them granules up. I'll pull it right in for now. Yeah, I should be able to. There we go. Right, there we go. That's a mess. I'm going to clean up. Right, thanks very much for watching as always. Um, till next time, thank you very much.